Welcome back, everyone. My name is Ms. Tui, and I'm so excited to be here with you. Today, we are going to learn all about Ozobot's color codes. What you'll need today are your five worksheets for this lesson, your color code reference sheet, and a green, red, black, and blue marker. Don't forget your Ozobot. That's necessary for this lesson too. After today's lesson, you'll be able to use the color code reference sheet to identify color codes, to draw color codes, and you'll be able to identify certain circumstances where color codes won't work. This is Ozobot. Ozobot is a desktop robot that can line follow, read color codes, and run Ozoblockly programs. Let's look at Ozobot to find its color sensor. Underneath the bot, between the wheels, there's a small optical sensor. This allows Ozobot to see colors and to read color codes. That's what we'll work on today, drawing color codes. Can you find the optical sensor on your bot? Color codes are short sequences of colors that the Ozobot can read with its optical sensors. Ozobot understands that when it reads a color code sequence, you want it to do something. You can use color codes to change direction, change speed, do cool moves, and lots more. Take a look at your color code reference sheet. What colors are used to make the color codes? That's right, green, black, blue, and red are used in different combinations to create all of Ozobot's color codes. These are the same colors as the markers that you have. Let's explore some color codes. Find page one. Take your bot and place it anywhere on the black line. Watch carefully as the bot travels over the color codes. Your job is to identify what the color code means to your bot. Notice that there's spaces for you to label each color code. If you need to, you can use your color code reference sheet to help you. Let's try the first one together. The first color code is blue, green, blue. Let's see what happens when the bot travels over it. It picks up a lot of speed it seems like it's going quite fast. But just to double check, I'm going to use that color code reference sheet. And I found blue, green, blue. The name for this color code is turbo. So I'll take my, so I'll take my marker. And for this color code, I will label it turbo. Can you name and label the other two color codes? Don't forget to use your color code reference sheet for help. Let's practice drawing some color codes. Find page two. You are going to practice drawing these two color codes that are listed here. Make sure that your color code is between two black lines. If you try to use a different colored marker, it won't work. The square should be the same size and they shouldn't overlap. Don't leave white spaces between your squares or make them too dark. It needs to be just right. Watch me. I'm going to start with a black marker and I'm gonna, going to draw my line. Then I notice it's red, green, red, green. So I'll grab my red marker and my green marker and have them ready. So I will use that chisel tip to draw red, green, red, green. And do your best job to stay within those dotted lines. After drawing your line, take your bot and place it on start. Notice the name of this color code is tornado. Does the behavior match the name of the color code? It does, doesn't it? Let's try the next one together. Again, I'm going to start with my black marker. And this one is red, green, black, blue. So let's start with red. Green black and blue. 
Now it looks like I left a little gap here. So I'm going to, going to very carefully fill that in so that the marker goes all the way up to the color code. And then I will finish my color code with a black line. When I'm done drawing my color code, I will place it on start. This color code is called backwalk. Let's see what happens. Pretty cool, huh? Can you practice drawing color codes on your worksheet? Some of Ozabot's color codes are the same either way that the bot reads them. These are called symmetric color codes. They're the same forwards and backwards. Some of Ozabot's color codes are asymmetric. They're different based on which way Ozabot travels over them. That means if the Ozabot travels one way, it might do something different than if it travels the other way over the color code. And we'll practice that on our next worksheet. Find page three. You will use the key here to help you fill in the color codes. Here I have 343 three as my first color code. It says that three is blue and four is black. So I know that this color code should be blue, black, blue. And so I will use my markers to draw that color code in. Next, I have one, two, one, two. That's red, green, red, green. So I will use my markers to fill in red, green, red, green. And lastly, my last color code is three, two, one. I know three is blue, two is green, and red is one. When you're done drawing your color codes, place your bot on the black line. Pay very careful attention to what the bot's behavior is when it travels over the color codes one way versus the other. Here's a helpful hint. At the end, it's going to U-turn, so you'll be able to see the behavior both ways. Let's start with the first color code. It looks like the bot is going fast over that. Then it spins. and then it has a nitro boost. But on the way back, it's no longer nitro boost. It goes kind of slow. It's that super short slow. On the way back, this looks like a tornado. And this last one, oh, the bot goes fast again. I know that this is a symmetric code because the bot had the same behavior going both ways. These two were asymmetric because they were different when the bot went one way versus the other. See if you can draw these color codes on your worksheet and see what happens when the bot runs over each color code. All right, now it's time for you to try drawing some color codes. Find page four. Here's a couple tips for you as you're drawing your color codes. Make sure that your colors don't overlap, they're not too dark, and that you don't use color on both sides of your color code. It has to be black on both sides. Don't leave white spaces between your color codes and don't make the colors different lengths. Make sure it's just right and that there's black on both sides. Let's start with this first color code, blue, green, blue. I will use my marker to draw blue, then green and blue. And you can see that the worksheet already has the black line on there for me. I'll take my bot and place it on the line to test it. And it works. That was the turbo color code. Let's try the next one together. I'll start with my black marker. Then I'll draw the color code red, green, blue. I'll start with red, then move to green, and end with blue. And I'll do the best job I can to follow all the rules of drawing a good color code. Then I will end with my black marker. 
To test my color code, I'll place the bot on the black line to see if it reads the color code. Notice it slows down dramatically. It read the code. Nice work. See if you can complete the last two color codes on your own. Congratulations, you're now a color code expert. Let's try some debugging. Debugging means that we're going to look for and fix any errors in our code. Here we have six examples of some color codes and we need to figure out if the Ozobot would read it or if it wouldn't. And if it's not able to read it, we need to figure out why. Now, these codes here are super tiny. So if I tried to put my bot on here, it wouldn't read the codes or follow the lines. If you need help, I recommend taking another piece of paper, drawing these codes and putting your bot on top to see if the codes work. Let me show you an example. Let's start with the first one. On this piece of paper, I've redrawn this image with a color code on the curve of the circle. I'll take my Ozobot, place it on the line, and see if the color code works. I know that red, green, blue means slow, but when my bot went over it, there was no reaction. It didn't do anything. I can take my pencil and mark that the Ozobot would not read this because the color code is on a curve. The Ozobot isn't able to read color codes on a curved line. Let's try the next one together. I'm going to try drawing this code on this paper. This looks like a color code on an intersection. So I'll start by drawing my color code. It's red, green, blue. So from the top, I will draw red, green, and then blue. And then finish my color code. It looks like there is another black line going straight through the middle of this color code. So I'll take my bot and again, I'll place it on the color code to see if it reads the color code. Again, it had no reaction. The Ozobot doesn't read this because the color code needs at least one inch before an intersection. Can you finish these four on your own? Try it and find out. See you next time.